this is a tough start for Inaki Canal out there in lane eight. It's a long stagger. He would not expect to see any of these athletes. He would desperately hope not to see any of these athletes to his inside. Might be using the big screens. There's two big screens either end of the stadium. Right, Inaki Canal, have a look at that. Good running there for the Jamaican team, Dimish Gay, already up on Christopher O'Donnell on his inside. So it could be Dimish Gay of Jamaica handing over first. As you say, there still is a bit of a stagger to unwind. So unlike normal 400, you can't kind of assume these athletes are all running the same. It's a bit of a fade there from Gay as he comes into these final few meters, just trying to get his bat into his team. But I think everybody pretty much handed over at the same time. Might have been Ireland just with Jamaica and Spain on the outside, pretty evenly paced as the women take over in the second leg. Yeah, Chris O'Donnell runs so well from Ireland, didn't he? Finished really, really fast. I think just outside 45 seconds this year. But Renisha McGregor, as we expect, one of the best athletes in the world over 400 metres. Jamaica's got some phenomenal women over this distance. She's working really, really hard there. She's got that lead. Looking at Sophie Becker there from Ireland in second place. But they're just being took over by the Germans. Swab's having a great race. She's getting in closer contention from McGregor. And Spain are coming through. Dominican are coming through. You could literally throw a towel over everyone. Coffield there from the Dominican finishing really, really quickly on the second leg. Oh, and that's, that, they've navigated that so well. There must be some super experienced relay runners down there because that was five athletes changing the baton over at the same time. Ireland doing well to stay involved, though. It was a strong finish from Sophie Becker in the end to give Jack Rafferty a, a chance. But Flor Delisa De Coffill of Dominican Republic, she was miles behind when she got the baton. Uh, she was in lane one, pretty isolated, battled back really well to put her team back in contention. Alexander Orgando, fantastic individual runner, just kind of controlling the front of the field. You feel Orgando is just going to lift his pace here. This is going to be another congested changeover. And look at Jack Rafferty of Ireland, finishing hard. Kareem Bartley of Jamaica finding a little bit extra, but that some serious congestion down there. I think everybody stayed on their feet. That looks like it was a clean changeover. But the top four spaces still really tight together. And look at Rashidetta Adekliki of Ireland. She's a youngster. We've seen her winning medals on the European age group stage. But here she is against the seniors. And Mara Lady Paulina of the Dominican Republic leaving the rest of them behind. At the moment, the top three, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, Ireland. That is your automatic three into the final. Can Spain find anything else in the closing stages? Or is that the automatic spots to the final. It's all to play for in the final 100 metres in this mixed 4x4. Four four. Well, Polino, the, the Olympic silver medalist, she's bringing the Dominican home. But look at Ireland. Look at Ella Henley. She's amazing. She's won a 50.7 this year to overhaul Jamaica for second position. Wow, Ireland have come here. They have done so, so well. They've made that World Championship final.